what's the word, gang? So look, man, y'all been hearing about the Fulio story. You know, Fulio lost his life a little over a month ago, you know what I'm saying, outside of uh, Tampa, Florida. You know, he's originally from Jacksonville, and shit, I guess his ops went and met him out there. You know what I'm saying? He's the same guys, a couple of them are kin to the guy that lost his life. You know, at the football game, allegedly on the internet, they were saying that Fulio had something to do with it. But uh, if we do know Fulio went to, you know, his grave, allegedly peed on it, you know, and did some disrespectful things. You even see this young lady, you know, she's been hit as well, you know, as far as the motor charges go. From what I understand, she came out and basically said that, look, um, we did go to the club. We did see Fulio, but we want on nothing with him. They like, oh, so how did you get to the Holiday Inn? Oh, we got lost. You know what I'm saying? So she basically put them at the location, at all three locations. The Holiday Inn, the um, they were not too far from the Airbnb, as well as the club. So what's crazy is, family, is that, that you know, Julio Fulio mother actually did an interview recently. And she said she don't know none of these guys. You know, like far as, y'all know what, it go, what goes on in the neighborhood, bro. Like far as uh, your mother, probably going to know who your ops is. You know what I'm saying? Especially a mother like her. She ain't been hit up about eight or nine times, right, in regards to this. They they saying that the same people are behind the shooting, allegedly, of um, Julio Fulio when he got shot in the leg, bro. You know what I'm saying? So these guys been on a hunt, on a mission for them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've I been watching it kind of close but not so close. I just not surprised, you know, I originally said that I doubt if Young and Ace had anything to do with it because why would he be on the internet making videos and diss songs saying they called for the drop and, you know, they gave him the, the word that the man had died, you know, a couple of hours before his death. Now, we have seen before. People have been done and done the idiot, the, the stupid stuff. You know, they ain't spoke on, you know, somebody they ain't did dirty far as murder, far as robbery, all on the Internet. And you'd be like, why would they come to the Internet and tell them themselves? Cloud is a hell of a drug. So I was just like, I don't think Young and Ace, he don't seem like he that he ain't that smart. You know what I'm saying? The dude strike me as somebody that got a little bit of sense. You know, far as the disrespect in the music, a lot of people saying that that's like get back for what Fulio pretty much did to him. You know what I'm saying? Fulio dissed his brother. If y'all don't know the story, Young and Ace, four people were shot, three people died. Young and Ace was the only one to survive. He got hit up at a light. You know what I'm saying? At a light. He, that's why he say he don't stop at lights no more. And then you got the Fulio story where Fulio was hit up. Four people got shot. Only one person died, and that person was Fulio. You know, Fulio had been hit up a few different times. And shit, it's like they want their revenge, bro. They they want it. You know, I've been watching Ratchet TV. You know, some of his take on it. He pretty much was uh, pointing fingers at a couple of people. From ATK, but it turns out I think he was wrong. You know what I'm saying? His information went all the way there. But, um... These guys, man, they went to bond here in the day, and they got denied bond in court. Temple Police released re re surveillance uh, footage of Sean got it right following Jacksonville, Florida rapper in his mother's car. So he had been following him in his mom's car, Brody. You know, so this man doing a drill in his mama car. Like, you can't make this up, gang. This man doing a drill in his mama's car. Like, where they do that at? Well, I guess it ain't no difference from the guys back in the day selling dope outside their mama house. Or is it? Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times in the old way was don't shit where you eat. Don't eat where you shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, meaning don't bring that type of stuff to your place of residence. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys talk about, especially rappers, you know, you see it sometimes with street dudes. They live on the other side of town. Some of them live in the suburbs. You know, way far away from the area they, they really hang out at. Where they got trap spots. 
You know what I'm saying? Where they doing they dirty. But nowadays, because of the internet, so many people are accessible. People can find out who you are pretty fast. You know what I'm saying? They can find out who you are just from social media tags and, you know, people seeing all oh, that go that that gas station. That's the gas station on 7. All oh, that go that, uh, that, that Carl's Jr., that McDonald's or something. You know what I'm saying? People be on it. You know, they be watching social media, bro. But this man was following this man in his mother's car. Like, you can't make that up. And look at him in court. Look at these guys in court. They in court like no worries. You know, like, I guess get back is a mug. They want to get back so bad. And, like, Shorty, she want the driver. She was there. So more than likely she'll get a deal. She had already put them on the scene, you know, as far as. And she was talking about, she. I think she said even she just was out there smoking. So she wanted to smoke some good, good tree. And then this all take place. You feel me? Now, these dudes popped out like ninjas. Everybody that's seen the surveillance videos, they like, yo, what type of ninja shit is this? They hopped out like ninjas doing they shit. And then some people like, yo, dude was known as a, a role play GTA. You know, he used to role play GTA. Kind of like the Chief Keith T. Grizzly, if y'all familiar with the role play on GTA. He was doing all that, bro. And they like, yo, this is like a scene from GTA. He took the game and put it in real life. Now, it, it's, it's wild because it's probably going to be some more bodies dropping, bro. Let's keep it real. Like, the war just ain't going to end with them taking out allegedly one of they, the top guys from that particular area. You know what I'm saying? The ones with the name. You know what I'm saying? Which would be Fulio. You know, so these guys going to want some get back. Y'all know how the tree of life work. You know, unless, you know, Fulio wasn't so impactful like we think he was in his neighborhood. But if he was impactful and he was looking out for his people, bro, they going to want some get back. They going to turn around and get some get back. Bottom line. You know what I'm saying? That shit going to come and then there's going to be some more bloodshed and the war continues. You know, and um, right now, like I said, they got denied bond. They still got to go through court. But from what I understand, old girl already putting them in locations like, you know, plus they got the surveillance footage. So it's like they nailed to the cross. It's kind of like the um, the guys that had hit up in Florida. You remember the guys that hit up XX Tashion? It was kind of like that, bro. Y'all saying, y'all remember that whole XX Texion? Like, it was a lot going on. And we seen what came out in the trial. And the trial was like, wow, they did all this? They had all this going on? Like, they, like, it's pictures of these guys walking out. It's pictures of them walking out uh, with assault rifles allegedly in the bag. Police are saying that these are assault rifles. You know what I'm saying? And, Shit, they own that. They own that, bro. They really own that. But uh, we're going to get back to the content. I did a live yesterday. Probably going to touch back on that subject probably tomorrow or the next day. But uh, it's about Mob James. I ain't see too many viewers checking it out like that. Plus, I had an emergency, so I had to get out that gym. You know, so I apologize. I ended that live a little early. And uh, yeah, man. Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County. You know what I'm saying? And these guys got denied bond. And look, look at Shorty, though. Like, look how they just look, though, bro. They look like y'all get in the comments and let me know. But don't it look like they don't got no worry? Like, they ain't worried about it. It's like they don't care. They ain't worried about it, man. But it's definitely Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter.